mind telling me what the last 10 days have been? Swift moving. <laughs> you know, it was. It, it has been. Uh, you know, since contact was made and conversations back and forth. And, you know, in the meantime, you're always exploring things. I was at the Senior Bowl last week, so I got a chance to see some stuff. Uh, I had a mixed championship Sunday because I had Nick Foles and Blake Bortles and I talked to both of them and I wanted them to be in the Super Bowl and Tom Brady ruined it for me and you know but Tom Brady's ruined that dream for a lot of people you know so but I had I, you know both of those guys so it's been a lot of mixed emotions a lot of riding you know a lot of stuff going on up and down so it's been good but to culminate in this awesome. Having NFL experience I mean how much I don't know if you want to call it street credit. Does it give you whenever you walk into locker rooms, particularly at the college level or high school level, pro level, whatever it is? Yeah, I don't. I'm, you know, I think you uh, you coach people, you teach people, you develop relationships, and it's not any different coaching at the NFL level as far as developing relationships with your players. Uh, college football is a uh, you got to develop relationships with those guys. Those players got to trust that what you're going to do for them is challenge them to become better players and better people every day and uh, the NFL guys don't that, that doesn't their process is the same thing can you help me get better can you help me stay on this team can you help us win all the, the same questions that they have are the same things college guys has same things high school kids have and you know it's uh, I don't know if there's any credit if you're good and you, and you believe and trust in people and uh, people believe and trust in you then it, it works out it's gonna be fine but I, I, I don't uh, you, you can't sit back and say, well, I coached here, so therefore I am. And it's uh, it's an ongoing process. And it, it, 35 years of being in this profession has helped prepare me for this. Coach, how challenging it is to take over just eight days before signing, though? Is that a big It's not. That's, what I, that's why I thank Greg Stevens. I think they've done an excellent job, not only with the team here, academically getting them enrolled in classes, getting them going in the new semester, uh, but the recruiting process. We had a meeting this morning for a couple hours, and talked about recruiting and talked about uh, all those things and it was what they've done and how he's done it and, and led the rest of the staff has really been I think he's done an admirable job it's it, really good it, it, the meeting this morning was outstanding so I hit the road tonight I'm going to visit some kids tonight I'm flying out of town tomorrow morning uh, I'll be back tomorrow night got some more to see on Thursday and Friday and we got some kids coming in this weekend so got a full slate ahead of us but I mean it's just what happens this time of the year you got to like the idea that this isn't a rebuild program, right? Yeah, this is not a place. rebuild program. Look, these guys have been winning. They got good players here. Uh, they've been they've been competitive. Uh, Coach Roberts and his staff, like I said before, they have done a good job here. Uh, he 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 opted to go somewhere else that opened up uh, an opportunity for me here. So I'm not coming in here saying, well, I'm going to wait till I get certain guys in here. No, these guys here are good enough to win, and that's what we plan on doing. It's, it's uh, when I get in here, I'll have a better idea. When I got an opportunity to evaluate all the things that we need. I know that when the president and the athletic director have the same vision, and the vision is let's get to a level of national prominence, that's a good thing. So now let's make sure we put the rest of the pieces of the puzzle. Because if you don't have either one of those two in the right spot, then it's not going to happen. Well, we have the opportunity for that to take place because we've got the president and the athletic director both in that spot. Coach, in terms of your philosophy, offense and defense, um, if you, are you looking, are you looking for coordinators? Do you have coordinators in mind? And, and what, do they want, what do you want them to do when they take it? We do. I want a well-rounded staff where there's a lot of input. You know, when you you always want to develop the coaches on your staff so that if changes do take place, you got guys that can continue the culture that you've gotten. As long as the head, you know, I think you look at some great programs, and you can start with Alabama. They lose four, five, six assistants every year, coordinators every year. But there's one constant in that program. There's a culture that's there. We want to make sure that culture is here so that no matter what pieces we plug in, whether it be players or coaches, nothing's indispensable. We'll be able to take that and move forward because our culture is set, and the players know that, and those things will go forward. So uh, offensive philosophy-wise, we're going to play hard. We're going to play physical. We're going to be a downhill football team, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the way our guys react this spring. Being at Tulane for 11 seasons, I'm sure you've yeah. seen how this program worked from afar, right? Uh, up close, we played them. Yeah. Uh, we played them. At, in fact, we played them in Tiger Stadium and had to score late in the game to win the game during the uh, Katrina season. So, uh, yeah, I've seen it close enough where we recruited against them. I know they recruited some quality players. I know they've signed quality players here. We can get what we want here. This campus has exploded. 
I don't know if you guys have seen it. Walk out there. There's all kind of changes, construction taking place. It's really a neat time to be a part of this organization. You've coached guys like JP, uh, Sean. You know, you, you, I, I think you want people to look at that and look at your track record and say, he can help me get to where my dream is. And that's pretty cool. And you mentioned all those guys, and I talked to all three of them today, and it was, you know, it's just nice catching up with people like that. They appreciate the fact that they had the opportunity. Sometimes when you go to certain programs, you don't get an opportunity to succeed. That's why you see four- and five-star recruits going to certain schools or going to schools, and they never pan out. And you say, I wonder why. Why do those guys never pan out? They just didn't have an opportunity to succeed. Come here. We'll give you an opportunity to succeed. You'll have a better chance to show who you are and develop as a player. So I think that's that a lot of times recruits look at the colors or look at certain things, and that's what they, they decide on, and that's not what makes it. You'll, the first pick of the draft this year might be the kid from Wyoming. Who would have thought? That's a kid from Wyoming. He's had an opportunity to develop. Carson Wentz came out. He had an opportunity to develop. Blake Bortles came out. He had an opportunity to develop. So with the opportunities to develop, that's what sometimes drives a kid and allows a kid to grow to his fullest potential. Not going somewhere and get, sitting on the bench or not playing for three, four, five years. Coach, defensively, what do you want your staff and your team to look like? I want to be a physical football team, man. We're going to be a physical football team all around. I want our guys to fly around. I want them to, I always, I, I use the term hair on fire. I want those guys to fly all over the place. I don't, I don't think you have to be the biggest, the fast. I think effort, defense has a lot to do with effort, and we'll portray that on the field every Saturday. But it'll start in practice. We'll be challenging those guys every day in practice. We'll be competitive in practice because practice is everything for us. So we're going to work our butts off in practice and trust that process will take us over to the game. Coach, you've been around a lot of, a lot of good quarterbacks over the years. Yeah. philosophy about what you hope to bring in here at uh, Southeastern and what you're looking for as a quarterback? You know, you want a guy who can run your football team. I think leadership's the number one quality of a quarterback. He has got to be that guy that everybody looks to when things go bad. When things are going good, nobody's looking around for help. Nobody cares. They're fine. They're moving forward. When things go bad, who is that guy? And, I, and I'll, I'll go back to number 12 up there in New England. I mean, I don't. you watched the Super Bowl last year. They're down 10 last week in a championship game. And he doesn't flinch. He doesn't, doesn't blink, and he takes them back. So you look at greatness like that, that's what you want out of the quarterback position. You want a guy from a leadership standpoint, that guy to do those things. So we want a quality person. Uh, he's got to have good moral and high moral standards. But we also want a guy who's a leader who can, who can take others and met, get others to be better players. We want him to be able to service other guys. I know we're a long way out from the first game, but what's that game going to mean to you personally? Knowing you're gonna that's pretty that? cool, huh? Going back to mom, I'm out of the play. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know yet. I'll have to wait till I get there. I'll, it, it, it is a long way out, but it is pretty good. Be a lot of people up there that I know, and uh, uh, you know, I've talked to a bunch of them, texts, and all that other stuff. So it'll be pretty neat to get back over there and see. Coach, the fans that have been following the program recently, what's some changes that fans can expect to see as as, the, as things transition to you being here? Yeah, it's hard for me to answer that yet because I just got here last night, so I'm not exactly sure what I want to change or what I want to look at. So. This, this spring will be an evaluation process for me up until practice. Then it's going to be all ball, and then we'll kind of recalibrate for the summertime before we get going in the fall. So as far as changes, I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, it's hard for me to answer that. Game two versus uh, LSU. Yeah. What's the relationship like with, with Ed Ogeron? Obviously, two Louisiana guys. Right? I've been knowing Ed for so long. He's, uh, yeah, I, I'm so happy for Ed. I, I just think for, for Ed to get the opportunity that he's gotten in his home state, uh, I know how he feels. You know, he's he's at the flagship university. I, it, Ed's such a quality guy, and he's been like that for so long. We've been knowing each other, I don't know, 30 years. I don't even know how long. But I think for for him, you know, I wish him all the success in the world. We, I, I just just that one week, I just don't want him to have so much success. That's it. But you know, it's it's it'll be great. It'll be good to see him, shake hands with him, tell him hi, laugh a little bit, and uh, maybe talk a little broken English together.